Hello everyone, welcome to our second video. It's all about digital art. When we say an art, we have the elements of art. We have actually seven elements of art, namely the line, the shape, the form, space, color, value, and the texture. When we say a line, it is made up of a pointing tool or most likely nagagawa siya kapag ginagamitan ng brush. When we say a shape, it is more likely used by two-dimensional, yung mga shapes lang na triangles, square, circle, mga ganun, mga two-dimensionals. When we say form, these are the three-dimensionals, three like for example, the pyramid, cylinder, the cube, ito yung mga three-dimensionals. We have also the space, ang tinatawag nating the maker of illusion, kasi ito yung gumagawa talaga ng illusion. And the texture, we have the texture for to feel what's in our painting or what's in our art. Halimbawa, we have a rough painting, rough art, or smooth art. The value, we have the, depende siya sa brightness and da darkness in our art. So, our value here must be yung sakto lang, hindi masyadong dark, or depende naman sa style ng designer. And lastly, we have the color, which is the most dominant element in art. Kasi most likely kahit ano, nagagamit talaga yung color. Aside for the elements of art, we have also digital art. It is an artistic work or practice using digital technologies as essential part of creation or presentation process. In short, ginagamitan natin ng teknolohiya para makabuo tayo ng isang digital art. Halimbawa, a man used his tablet to draw a flower. Another one, the boy used his computer to create his piece. And lastly, someone used his or her mobile phone to create an art of a facial, facial expression. So, these three ay mapapansin yung gumamit ng teknolohiya. And not only technology, we also need to use um, applications. Applications or what we called software. Software is a program and other operating information used by a computer. Ito yung mga programs or applications in which pwede nating magawa ang isang art sa teknolohiya gamit ang mga ito. So, these are the softwares designed to create digital art. One, we have the Adobe Photoshop. This one is the Adobe. This one is the Microsoft Paint. This one is the Inkscape. And lastly, we have the Corel Draw. Itong Etong apat na to ay halimbawa lamang ng mga softwares na pwede nating gamitin para makabuo ng digital art. Aside from the software, we also have the artist. The artist, the one who use digital art or the one who make digital art by using a software. Number one are the graphic designers. Sila yung mga gumagawa ng billboards, um, post, signages, or yung mga nakikita nating mga um, art dyan sa may labas or sa may ways. And next is the photographers. We commonly know them. We know that they use editors or any softwares to make a digital art or to make their image as much as possible mas maganda pa kaysa sa normal quality. Next, we have cinematographers. Sila yung mga producers in televisions, cinema, 
as you can see, we have a best quality in TV, um, not to compare with other country, but for today, we have a best quality by the use of digital art. Lastly, we have the animators. Kagaya ko, I do use animation, I do use technology to do this slide, pero this is very simple nga lang. You can do also this. Next to our artist, we have the commercial art. These are the designs of posters, book covers, company logos, food packaging, cartoon characters, and signages. So, sa, sa mga commercial art na ganyan, ginagamitan niya ng digital art because walang bibiling customer kung ang packaging niyan ay dull, plain. Hindi siya nakakaingan niyo. So, di ba walang bibiling? Kaya kailangan ng nilang magkaroon ng very maingganyo or eye-catchy na covering para naman mabenta yung product nila. So, these different types of commercial art which are used in advertising were designed using technologies. Designed and used by technologies and of course by the applications or the softwares. So, nakakabuo sila ng digital art. Very good. The example of the commercial art are the following. Um, I think it's more on signages because it's a timeless signages. Like for example, safety. Make safety a team goal. And always remember a one meter social distancing. So, di ba pag nakikita nyo yung, yung mga example na signages, ano siya, um, nakukuha nyo agad yung gusto niyang ipahiwatig and gusto nyo siyang basahin because of the color, combination, um, also the the darkness and the brightness. Yung mga ginamit na elements dito is very very eye-catchy, kaya gustong-gusto nyo siyang, para sa akin, gusto ko siyang i-copy, kaya ayan, na-post ko siya dyan. Don't forget, or never, 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 never forget that art elements and principles such as lines, shapes, color, texture, balance, and emphasis are still applied even with the use of technology. Kasi, these are the seven elements of art. Whatever you use, either paper, pencil, digital art, or any, any type of art, you need to use the seven, part, uh, seven elements of art because this is the fundamental to have the best art. That's all for today. Goodbye!